This is the first dedicated whiskey bar on a Princess cruise ship. Whiskey comes from all around the world. Most people are really surprised to realize that it's not just from Scotland. They range from Japan, Ireland, Indian whiskey, New Zealand, even Tasmania. And it starts from approachable, easy drinking whiskies to more complex and more advanced whiskies. The first step to drinking whiskey is to roll it around the glass and look for the legs on the whiskey. Now these are the drips that form on the sides of the glass. The longer it takes for those drips to form, generally the better quality and the older the whiskey. So nosing your whiskey is holding it up underneath your nose, taking a few light breaths and just slowly familiarising your palate with the whiskey. About 75% of your taste actually comes from the aromatics and it really familiarises your tongue before you taste it. Step number three is preparing your palate. So you take a small sip and roll it round in your mouth, coating the gums, the roof of the mouth, under the tongue, and you find there's a very big difference between that first sip and the second sip. So there's three different ways to drink whiskey. First is neat, or straight up, and that's whiskey in a glass. Second, with a couple of cubes of ice. This softens the whiskey down and makes it more approachable. And thirdly, adding some room temperature water to it, which softens the whiskey and opens it up. You'll find you get a broader bouquet from your whiskey. So on board, we have 63 different whiskies, and I've chosen three to show you today. The first whiskey is Hibiki. It is a Japanese whiskey. Now Hibiki is a really approachable, easy drinking whiskey, and a really good place for someone to start. Helios Road is from Burnie in northern Tasmania. Uh, it's aged in bourbon barrels for a combination of six to eight years, giving a really crisp and clean tasting whiskey. Talisker's a really unique whiskey. It's from the Isle of Skye off the west coast of Scotland. The Isle of Skye is an incredibly windy, salty place. Now this salt absorbs into the cask and gives it a slight tasting note of salinity. There is a whiskey for everybody and it doesn't have to be so intimidating. We've got really good bar staff down here which are able to talk you through the whiskies and find one that's appropriate for you.